happening, my wonderful people? Trouble for Atiku Tinubu, as powerful Northern presidential candidate, tell Nigerians who to vote for in 2023. A presidential candidate from the North have told Nigerians who to vote for. And this is, uh, this is not a game. This is a reality. This is not uh, just a statement. It is what is happening right here and now. Selling Nigerians, it's not Atiko, it's not Tinubu. Vote for so, 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 and so. You know, um, the elections are right around the corner and every single one of us can see what is going on today, here, and now. If these things continue like this, there will be what? Fire on the mountain. And um, the children's rhyme goes by the saying, a big, big one, run, run, run. Yesterday, we brought you up to speed that um, Concourse's party said they are ready to come to an alliance with Peter will be given some conditions. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Trouble for Atiku Tinubu, as powerful Northern presidential candidate, tells Nigerians who to vote for for the 2023 election. Nigerians have been asked not to vote, not to vote, but not Nigerians have been asked not just to vote rightly, but to elect a competent leader in the forthcoming general election. This call was made by the presidential flag bearer of the new Nigerian People's Party, Rabi Konkoso, while calling on the electorate to vote for him in 2023, Konkoso noted that it is important. Why calling on electorates to make the right choice? He said they must sustain the ability to see beyond just the people. He said they should note that good intention, he has good intention for Nigeria. The presidential candidate of the new Nigerian People's Party, NNPP, Rabi Konkoso, has urged voters not to forget the malicious treatment of the country under the People's Democratic Party as well as the All Progressive Congress. Addressing journalists in Zamfara State, the capital, Konkoso said, APC PDP presidential candidates are merely promising to continue with what their party have done to Nigerian leadership reports. It says Nigerians must be wise at this point in time and not make further mistakes they have usually made before. Konkoso tell Nigerians to vote for competence, not tribe, religion, or sentiment. He said he has good intention and intends to change the status quo. He said Nigerians are leaving weakness to the corruption and security ravaging the country under the PDP and APC administration. Do you want to live like this? He urged the electorate to vote for him because he has a blueprint of bringing positive change to the country. Kwankosa said, NNPP blueprint is for development of the entire country, adding that it includes measures to end security challenges facing the country. He recalled that while he served as a Minister of Defense, military force were properly used to handle security challenges even in other countries. But today, with the Chief of Army Staff being the President, nothing is happening. The people you have picked, the people that you have picked who are in Asorok today have caused more frustration and tears for the country. Do you want to continue in such a way and manner? It's a question you have asked to quell Concoso, and that question sincerely demands an urgent answer, you know, to be given from us. Every single person must answer, must give a, an answer to that question. Do we want such to continue? Because the days of playing hanky panky, okay, the game of children, we are, no, no, it's you, it wasn't you, it was me, it wasn't me. Those days should be far over by now. Every single person should be rising up to the occasion and saying, enough is enough. You see what is going on in the country? You see how things have turned? You see people who you never envisaged, who you never thought of, you know, are, are doing lots of things and you are wondering, how did we get here, my dear? This is what is happening now. This is what is going on. Uh, you know, people who are failed, they know that they are failed. 
yet they are saying to you that you should still give them opportunity to come on board again and i'm asking myself the question what are they coming to do to continue what they've been doing you understand me now is it to continue what they've been doing or what exactly are they coming to do you must ask that yourself that question what exactly are they coming to do you listen to concourse very clearly you listen to him peter Obi's name was not mentioned there because you know these people have himself peter Obi, they've dissociated themselves from a failed system, you know. But however, guys, where are we? Where are we? Do we really want this change? Okay, what are we doing in order for the change to come? What are we putting in place? Are we really rising up to the occasion? Or are we just sitting there and moping and hoping that it will change? Things will not just change because you wish it to change. It will change because you've seen that there is need for the change and you have made up your mind. You're going to work at it. You're going to do everything humanly speaking possible to ensure that change become a reality. In those areas, in those ways, you have become, you have begun to do the right thing. You have begun to hit the nail on the head. You have begun to dot your eyes and cross your T's. And at the end of the day, the sky is not the limit. It becomes the starting point. So it is what it is. It is what it is. So let's rise up. Let's ensure that everything humanly speaking, possible that we need to do to bring us all, you know, to that desired destination and purpose where Nigeria can be our country again. Because as I tell you sincerely, if you know Nigerians that have two passports, go and ask them when they are traveling, not two passports as in two Nigerian passports, so maybe one British, one Nigeria, one American, one Nigeria. That's what I mean by, you know, dual nationality. Mm -hmm. When they are traveling, Say they are traveling from Spain, they want to go to America. Go and ask them if it's the if it's the if it is the uh, if it is the Nigerian passport they will go and use. No. To start with, if you carry the Nigerian passport, you will need to go and take visa. Because our country will not develop our economy. So other countries they fear us, they will go look whether we qualify to come their country. They go check your phones, they will a lot of things. But if, for instance, say you get British or American passport, you don't need to do all those. Ones. You just go online, you go feel where uh, this thing say, well, you are going for this and that and that and that's it. You never get two thousand for your for your account. Nobody go care. So long as you can pay your flight fee, you go to where you are going and you return. That's fine. Yeah. So why is it that why is it that we keep quiet and we allow these things to 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 continue to 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 hold us down? It was not like this before. Now, no, now. Leave us a comment. Don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. God bless. Bye for now.